Hey, what's up guys? So, upon editing this video, I realized that I didn't have an intro. It's kind of my fault. I was in the middle of uh, working on a few other things while I was filming it, so I didn't think of making an intro. So anyways, this is future me making an intro for past me. So, in this video, um... I will be installing a set of manual clutch and brake pedals. Hopefully with this video it will make the process a lot smoother for you guys. I will say some of it was a pain in the butt, but hey, when is it not on this car? Um, if you don't have any hardware for it, I actually picked up some hardware at Lowe's, so I will be showing you the... Uh, the nuts and bolts and washers that I use that way you can go pick them up and make it easier for your swap anyway I hope you guys enjoy this anyway I hope you guys enjoy this wow I cannot speak anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's cut back to my past self so the uh the person that I bought the uh the clutch pedal off of did not give me the uh any bolts to mount the clutch in or the clutch pedal assembly in i'm gonna see if the brake pedal bolt will uh fit where the clutch one goes and uh it's kind of a pain to get to i uh, hope you guys can see it that's uh that's where the uh brake pedal bolt goes and then just just to the left of it uh behind this little flap you're gonna pull it down and that's where your clutch pedal mounts to All right, I got it out. Hope this fits. Goodbye. Wow! Yes, it works. Wow! Sweet. So, it works. Um, I'm gonna run the load. I'll give you guys the uh, the actual uh, size of the bolts, the length, and everything. That way you guys can just go buy it. And uh, let me show you one more thing. Okay, just so you know, um, I just recommend getting new hardware for this stuff. Uh, I had these lying around. They are M8 by 1.25. But anyway, I uh, just decided to try it out and uh, it fits. So while I'm at Lowe's, I'm gonna pick up a, like a lock washer or a couple lock washers, that way this thing doesn't move. And then, I was hoping uh, the, where this, uh, where the clutch master cylinder uh, bolts onto, it'll come through, it'll come through this piece, which, let me throw you on my head, that way you can see, that way I can demonstrate properly. So, this is an adjustment, right here so you just take take the nut you're gonna tighten it down as soon as you get the adjustment all good which I don't know yeah which I don't know the length of it right now so I'm just gonna ballpark it so I kept it where it came from the factory which was about right there so those of you that haven't done this swap like myself um Basically, you're gonna have your clutch through the firewall, which I'll show you guys later. It'll come through here. So this will be attached to the firewall, and then it slides through here. In this piece, oh wow, that's like almost perfect. That's pretty good. Uh, so this piece, which I think you can just turn the screw. Yeah, so if you're okay, so if you're in the car, don't tighten this down all the way. Don't tighten the nut down all the way. If you back it up, you can move the stud itself so you can align it. So I'm just twisting, just twisting the stud, which you can align it perfectly where it's supposed to sit. So that that'll get you in the ballpark, and then you can do like a fine. Some minor adjustments later, uh, which I'm going to be learning how to um, 
how to do that. So yeah, you just put it all the way through, and then this, this piece is supposed to have a pin that goes through it. I, this is the same size as the, the one on the, um, the brake pedal, which I thought would work, but I'm dumb, I didn't try it beforehand, before going to the store. So I need a smaller, I need a smaller pin, and then just throw a cotter pin in it. Which, sure, yeah, you can, you can use a small enough, uh, you can use a small enough bolt and nut to hold it down, but I don't want that. I, I want something factory that I can just put it in, pop it out if I need to, so just sitting there messing with the bolt, it's just a lot easier to undo a cotter pin than it is getting, getting in there and adjusting it with, uh, with a pair of, uh, uh, like a ratchet and socket. So that just allevi alleviates a whole, a whole headache right there. So anyway, uh, I'm going to run to the store. Uh, I'll be back with a new, uh, pin, which I'm going to take, I'm going to take this with me so I can slide the pin in there. That way I know it can fit. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back. I'll give you guys the part numbers. All right. I'll be back guys. All right, guys, I'm back from Lowe's. I got the parts that I needed. And uh, this is gonna be uh, the pin that you need. It's a 5 16 size. The only one that they had was uh, one that was two inches long. And you really just need, need one that's about an inch, which, yeah, if you get one that looks like the, like a factory one, that the whole thing is uh, an inch long with the hole right there, um, you'll be good to go. Uh, now I'm having to, to cut mine. I have it almost at an inch. All I gotta do is cut that extra little bit off right where that hole is. And then it will uh, it'll fit in here perfect. See, I already cut this much off. Which I should have filmed it, but uh, if you have a sawzall and then a, uh, and then if you have a vise, uh, just lock it in there and then just cut it. It literally just cuts through super easy. I barely had to put any pressure on it. Yeah, uh, if you can find one that's about an inch long, go ahead and get that. Because if it's too long, it, will, it won't fit in here right and it'll just hit this side and it'll hit the side of the bracket. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like installed. All right, so what I'm planning on doing, oh yeah, by the way, on here, I just took this uh, this spring off, which it's just held on. I don't know where did it go. Oh, here it is. Keep track of your hardware. Don't be like me. Usually, I'm better than this. So yeah, so there's this little locking uh, like half washer. I forget what they're called, but they just. This just sits on here. When this whole thing is installed, I just undid this and then pop this off. And then now, now I can move the actual pedal independent, independently, which will help you in installing, installing this the first time. So I'm gonna have this piece that goes on the master cylinder. I'm gonna put this on first and then while it's in the car, I'll be able to uh, just attach it a lot easier. So this pin, I'll show you why you need it just about an inch long. So it goes through, and see how it, how it just scrapes on that? That's not good. And it's gonna, it's gonna hit that too. So, if you have it an inch long, You'll just have that one hole that will show. So I'm gonna cut mine as close to the end end of that hole as possible. So let's get to it. Oh, and hey, by the way, uh, this is the size of uh, the the bolt that you need for uh, the uh, the clutch um, assembly to bolt into the car because this is the this is my factory one. This is the factory one for my brake uh, pedal assembly. So it's M8, 
by 1.25 by 20 millimeters. So this is 20 millimeters long. The grade is M8. And then the thread pitch is 1.25. And then I just got, um, I got my nuts already. Ha. Huh. And uh, I got my locking washers, same M8. And then I got bigger washers that go on top of it. So it can actually just bump up right against here. The washer will be there, then the lock washer, and then the nut will go on and then it won't come off. So that's what you need. Uh, this cost me like six bucks at Lowe's. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And then just get a cotter pin, a quarter inch, or you actually just match it to this, this size of the hole. It's five sixteenths uh, pin. Then you get your, uh, your pin clip, just match it up. Anyway, let's come over here. So to prevent this from moving, Putting this in here. Yeah, I know I don't have uh, the vise on the workbench. Why? Because it's not mine. It's my roommate's. And I don't want to drill holes through my workbench right now if uh, if I'm not going to be installing a, a vise just yet. So yeah, that's why I don't have it installed. But it'll get the job done. The reason why I'm putting a rag in here, that way I don't mar up the, the metal end. All right, and here we go. Oop. That easy. Yeah, I kind of... It came off and it messed messed up a little bit, but I mean, I'm not worried about it. It didn't do a whole lot of damage. All right, so before you put this through, there's like a little inner, uh, it's like a rubber liner. I'm just gonna grab, uh, I have some sandpaper here. Just take off the edge. It's pretty smooth already. Yeah, that's all you need. All right, there we go. Gonna line this piece up, throw it in, and boom, it works. Grab my cotter pin, pop that sucker on. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then the spring. I don't know how hard it's going to be to compress. That's not that bad. Oh. There we go. There's that. This. This goes right on there. You can just put this on. And boom, good to go. Good to go. Oh yeah. I think this is uh, a lot of issues. Uh, I saw one guy on YouTube. He uh, he had an issue of getting the, the master cylinder on and then getting the clutch of uh, this whole housing um, bolted up, which if he... I don't think he did this. So if you literally just put the bolt in and then it'll just be dangling there. I'll show you. But once you uh, once you put the master cylinder in, it'll line up a little bit, which just close it like that. And then uh, you just put it in, tie this on, and then you're good to go. Anyway, let's uh, let's see how hard it is. I'm just talking it up right now. You always want to put your bolt, put the lock washer there, and then put the other washer over it. And uh, let's go install this stuff. All right, we're 
We're at the car. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out my my automatic brake pedal real quick. That way I can fit in there and put the clutch one in first. So I uh, hope you guys can have a pretty decent view. If not, I'm sorry. Here goes nothing. Hope this is easy. Oh yeah, take off your uh, your foam. Uh, it's crazy to still see that. All right, so I think the easiest way to do it is get your bolt on an extension on your socket. I got started. Cool. All right, so it's mocked up. There's a, you're gonna see two little grommets. Sorry, I took one out. They're just rubber. You can put like an Allen key in there. Put it in and like kind of twist it and pop it out. Or you can just push it in. You'll feel it pop. Lightly pry it out. I'm doing it lightly because I have new paint. All right, that's all it is. All right, this is where it's gonna get a little interesting. So I can see it right here. I hope you guys can see it pretty well. I just wanna set it in there and then come under here. There we go. All right, so here comes the fun part. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen up this bolt for the clutch pedal and then just line it up over the end of the master cylinder. And then find my bolt hole again. Well, it's almost going in. Maybe I shouldn't have taken my swivel socket off. All right, I'm gonna put my swivel socket back on maybe I can actually get it at a better angle I really don't want to crawl underneath this dash all right swivel sockets back on let's try to line this up I got it. Now I'm gonna focus on this master cylinder. All right, so I'm gonna go in the engine bay and lightly push the master cylinder in a little bit until I can line it up on, on this metal piece and uh, screw it in. All right, let's see if that works. Uh, let me try to show you if I can, if the holes are almost lined up. See, right, right here, that hole, that one's lined up, and then uh, I don't know where my other one is. Uh, it's kind of hidden, you can't see it on camera. So I have my socket, or my, uh, my extension, propped up underneath it. Just try to get those two holes aligned. All right, I got it sitting in part of it.
Got it. I got it. Got it, guys. There we go. Got that locked in place. I can re remove my socket. Oh, I mean, wow. Why do I keep calling it a socket? All right, I got the first one finger tight. Remember, washer, lock washer, and then the nut. Now the hard side is gonna be the far left one. Kinda have to contort your hand in there. First washer's on, lock washer next. Uh oh, dropped it. Oh, good thing I got more of those. All right, and to make this easier for that far left one, I'm thinking just slide the nut inside your socket, which turns out to be a 13 millimeter. Damn it. My lock washer fell off. Make sure you get, make sure you prepare ahead and get uh, a couple of them. That way you have backups because this will happen. This is a pain in the butt. Hope it's on there. I'm gonna take it off, but I'm gonna put my hand underneath it just in case if something falls off. Ah, it worked. All right, I'm gonna tighten it down now. All right, after those are tightened, you can go ahead and tighten this top one and then you'll be done. All right, that was easy. Man, that was, uh, that was quite a workout. Um, I hope you guys could see it uh, pretty well in there, um, but that's basically how you uh, install a manual clutch pedal. Yeah, I'm gonna just show you one more time, make sure I get some pretty decent camera angles. So you got one bolt back there, and then right on the opposite side. Ah, you can barely see it. I'll highlight it on screen. but. That's the hardest one to get, that far left one. You need a, a swivel socket really helps in this situation. So if you don't have one, just go pick one up. And uh, from this point of view back here, what I did, you're gonna see this blue computer box right here, or I don't even know if that's a computer box. I can't even see it, so I can't even tell you what it is. Anyway, this blue box right here, you're gonna have a short extension, not super short, just like a medium one. This longer one, I mean, you can get away with by just putting it on that far right one. You can crank it down right here. Get yourself a swivel head, and it'll take some time, but you can fit it right over here, or you can go right underneath here, and then just turn it slowly, and then you'll put it right in, and it works. It works pretty well. It's nice and sturdy. And then uh, next, I just have to install my, my brake pedal, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a lot easier to get to right here. And I can show you that right now. Let's focus on getting this, uh, this brake pedal off. Should be pretty simple. All right, so the only thing that you need to take out this uh, automatic uh, brake pedal, two 14 millimeter 
a socket and a wrench or two sockets, whatever you have. And just uh, maybe get your boot on it. Ah! Maybe stand on it and then break it loose. Obviously you don't need a breaker bar, but eh, I just wanted to make it easier on myself. There we go. Uh, if you guys want a automatic uh, brake pedal, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Same way we got it out, I'm gonna put it back in. Hopefully it records it. If not, uh, then just uh, repeat after, the, uh, after how you took it out. I apologize if I'm blocking it. There's no easy way to do this. It takes a lot out of you doing this. Um, hopefully you guys saw some pretty good footage on how to put your uh, manual uh, clutch and brake pedal in. Um, Hopefully this can help you in the future whenever you want to do a manual swap on your auto. So yeah, if you liked the video and it helped you out, leave a like, comment below. Um, you want to follow my build or just see more videos like these on the Supra or any other uh, videos I put out. I do make shorts, like just how to repair your car. Um, yeah, subscribe, smash that bell, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.